What's up guys, we're back here. And we're jumping back in with the silent. So this is actually the second time I've uh, made this video. Uh, halfway through the other one, the audio caught out when I was looking through it. So we're gonna try it again. Uh, nothing special on the last one, nothing interesting. Like uh, content wise, we didn't like have some crazy run anyway. So not a big loss. We are gonna go up here though. Got a question mark path here. There's that five max HP, golden idol. Um, we could get at least one elite, probably. Uh, assuming the question marks are on our side. I don't think we could get two though. Okay, cards deflect, riddle with holes. Ooh, after image is good. And banana's really good. Oh crap. Nope. Neutralize, I really don't. That was bad luck on our part, because both those would have been really good. Banana's actually really awesome early game. Alright, so we did get one dude in a question mark room. Um, take backflip to start with. I don't really have a defined like uh, image in my head on what we want to do. So this is a lot of rest in a shop. This one's more fighting shop. I think we'll go with the rest and get a bunch of upgrades. And of course that free elite. Strawberry, a little bit of Extra max HP right there. Because, yeah, there's a lot. There's not a ton of cards I need to upgrade with the defect. But getting, like, the neutral eyes and uh, stuff like that done always is very nice. There we go. Super capacitor coin. We've seen this one before. Uh, three damage for each charge and gain a charge every time you uh, get some coins. Um, I think dagger throw could be good. A little bit of extra draw power. And it does better when you upgrade it. Actually, I thought it did a draw two, discard two. What's wrong? Astral Hammer. I've never seen this one. Whenever you play an attack by one for the rest of combat, playing attack that costs zero, exhausted. Ooh. Interesting. I don't even know how to play around that. Because, yeah, you can accidentally exhaust your whole deck if you're not careful. Interesting. It's pretty cool though. I'll give it that. I think we're going shifts is what it's looking like. Because yeah, we can get both these two right now. And then we can exhaust one of these strikes. We'll see how this goes for now. We don't have no like huge players for it. But uh, getting something like... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um... Uh, Shuriken or Kunai would be really good. So this makes the first pass, like the second pass of our deck actually, uh, really good. But like, Neutralize will only be able to be used once. And then it's exhausted. See? Yep. So having the shivs, like being able to populate them back, <clears throat> will be uh, pretty good. So this will be exhausted now. I like that though. It's not bad. All shivs in your hand, she'll still, for each one discarded. I mean, we're doing a shiv run, so I've never made shiv toss work very well. So I'd be pretty excited to do so. Dagger throw. Uh, we want to drop the normal defend. We're going to cloak and dagger here. So now we'd want to shiv toss. And you gain two plus two accuracy. Okay. Trying to figure out how that works. Okay, so I want to neutralize you. Strike, strike, defend. I'm just pretty excited that we actually have <clears throat> a pretty cohesive run, like in terms of like what we're doing specifically. Um, I mean, I guess we'll do that just to see. Yeah, we got the dagger throwback, but it's exhausted now, so I keep that in mind. That's, you know, that impressive three block right there. But these are doing more damage. Zero cost strike. Interesting. I'm still not like... I don't know if I should be excited or like hating the Astral Hammer. I think it'd be better in like a... Well, no, it wouldn't. I think it'd be really good in a uh, Anger deck. But the Angers would get exhausted. So actually it wouldn't be. 
think dagger spray is fine. It's going to get exhausted anyway, like, later on. I'm pretty confident this, like, will kind of hurt us in the boss fight. Just in terms of, like, uh, losing a bunch of our attacks. So I'm curious how it'll go. Like, losing neutralize isn't that good. It's one of our good cards. Like, selling Astral Hammer might actually be a better play. Because, yeah, you can really dilute the crap in your deck, but... Like, stuff like Lake Sweep would be good, though. But I think I'm going to go... I need to keep adding cards that continue to put attacks in our deck. Just under principle. But Lake Sweep would have been good. Uh, but it was pitted against something that's a little better. Okay. Get this through. It's going to try to attack. Good turn for Neutralize. Um, can we drop it? I think... How do we do it? 12 there. I drop the defend. Yeah, I think we can. Those two. Looking dagger. Shift. Might have been able to get a little bit more if we would have done the shift first. Not sure on that, though. I think we're actually going to blade dance. Shift toss. Plus three accuracy. That'd be kind of the idea, is to, like, double blade dance or burst blade dance. Then, uh, shift toss. Okay, uh, I think we'll get the strike ready to, uh, exhaust. And I'll wait on the dagger spray. Because it's zero currently, so it's not bad. Uh, I guess I like any of these options. Do that. So we're going to take 15. Um, play dance. Really lay into him this turn, I guess. Why he has no uh, spikes. Or, what is it, thorns? Yeah. Sharp hide, I guess, is the technical term for him. Well, we don't have a lot of blocks, so the shivs do more. So I kind of want to get rid of him. I don't think I can kill him, though, necessarily. 18 plus 12. No, only 30. He's dealing 9 damage, so. We will wait. <clears throat> oh, dang. You're really uh, a fan of this dude, aren't you? Yeah, and I can't really guarantee an attack until he stands back up. This isn't that bad, though. I think we'll backflip. Survivor, shiv, yeah. Okay. Still gonna take two. I mean, worst case scenario, we also have the super capacity coin. I need to keep in mind. Okay, he's dropped down. 32. That'll do 12. So we need to do 20 damage without dying. I think we got it, actually. <clears throat> Alright, got it. And we got to keep our coin. Entropic Brew is good. Uh, apply one week and deal 3 damage to a random enemy. 2x plus 1 times. It's alright. Double gangers are alright. Bullet times are alright. I think for what we're doing, because this is an X cost, I think we'll always get to keep it, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. Uh, Ring of Chaos could be good. Non-relic. Non-boss, not event relic. That could be also really good. Actually, this is what we do. Back tick. And what we go for is... What spice do? Highly addictive. That could be a cool one. But what I want is not cool. I want the other one. Not on ceasing top. Yeah. Sure, Ken's where you go. Every three attacks we play, we gain one strength. It's just much better. Um, I, don't know if we, I think we should, we're supposed to go to the city. I don't remember what we did exactly for the Ironclad. Since I'm having to redo this one, so... We'll do this just as a, a hope as that's what was supposed to be done. All right, shivs. Let's get you shivved up. And yeah, that gives us the extra strength is really what uh, this is all about. Now, was that exhausted? No. That's what I kind of wanted to see. 
Okay. Next turn, I'm pretty sure we can take out this looter. At a cost. Like, this, that did hurt a lot, but... Um, hit you. Infinite blades. Uh, I don't think so. I really need to draw, like, a zero-cost attack. If we're being honest. Neutralize works. Okay. 11 block. We are going to take, like, six more. But he's super dead. You're trying to leave, which I don't much appreciate. But yeah, we we have a scaling factor, and that's kind of what we needed. Um, no, I don't think so. Now, if we could remove, uh, but around it, we did get the curse. What did we get though? Ancient text. Draw one additional card, then place one card from your hand to the bottom. Of your... Interesting. I don't know what the use for that will be, but ritual stick, I guess. It sounds good. 5 HP. Yeah. First time you lose HP, gain one ritual. Ooh. I don't know what ritual exactly does. But we'll take it. Not, like, too worried about it. What is... What are you? 25 all about that. Returned his health. Nice. Colorless. Uh, I think... Because I really want... These... We did die to the shopkeeper last time we did it, but I want to try again. I want some redemption. All right, and the main reason... Oh, I can put a card on my draw pile, bottom of my draw pile. Do that. Okay, that's what that does. The main reason for this is um, I have the Entropic Brews also. So I'm pretty confident about what we're doing. Whew, that screen shake is rough. So he has 200. We have the coin. We actually have like a slightly defensive deck that also scales. So I'm hoping that'll make the difference. Whew, we did take a, a wallop right there though. Okay, he has a ton of artifacting, which I forgot about. Okay. I think I will go ahead and drink this and drink that. And drink this. Let's just see. Throw the poison. Get that out of there. Okay. Five strength. Could be good. The problem is this freaking 35 block. Like, it's rough. I, I need to continue to scale. This actually might be the play. Because it does it 2x times. Can I do that? And then, yeah. Let's do this, actually. There we go. Four week. Dude's doing a lot less damage. Okay. We are going to take 20 more, though. We're down to two. Might have been a dumb, another dumb play, but we got enough time if we have to do another one. But if we win this, I think we're that'll be awesome. Uh, drop the defend, I guess. I don't think we'll win it. Dang. This dude's hard. I should have used the speed potion. I messed up. You know what? I'm going to do the thing you're not supposed to do. And go back and try one more time. If it'll, yeah. Because we can go in the shop. Okay. Try one more time. We did do this. But I'm, I kind of messed it up the first time. Okay. Discard that. Oh, I, I want to. I need to put a card on the bottom of my deck. I should have drank one of those, but I guess I discarded it instead. All right, I want to see if I can do this a little differently. Do that to start with. Discard. Discard this. Let's go start the fight. So I think the big thing for this one is I need to start weakening him. Get that artifacting off. Okay, blade dance. I need you to drink this. Go ahead and throw this onto him. Um, I think I should defend this turn. I don't think I did this last time. Because getting that artifacting will be really good for us. Okay. Infinite blades. Cannot do much else this turn. And I gotta remember I have this coin. 
All right, down to 22. Despair. Placed on top. Interesting. I don't know why I got that, but... Okay, shiv, shiv. Strike. Defend. Oh, I didn't draw out the same, so... Yeah, we definitely lose again. That's fine. The shopkeeper is so freaking hard. We'll do one more. <clears throat> we didn't have nothing special. Simple shiv deck, but gosh. I want to beat him. Uh, any two basic cards. Obtain a random rare relic. Sure. You play... Place the first attack card. You play each turn on top of your draw pile. So you can keep playing it over and over again. Okay. And grass punch and strike. Eh. So I need to remove some of those. But the grass stuff won't work for this character. We'll go to the shop pretty early. Go ahead and get rid of one of those. Because they're, they're kind of just like garbage. But I'm trying to think what we can do with this. I guess we could keep putting Neutralize on top of the deck. It's only like really good play I can think of. Constant weakness. Because yeah, that's an attack. Between rounds, Toxic Wave. I guess so. Not really like confident on if that's what I should have picked or not. Boop, boop, boop. Take one. Toxing wave. Strike is put, yeah, it's put back on top of the deck. Huh. If you have any draw though, that's gonna interrupt that a little bit. And I don't draw neutralize immediately, so. It's kinda hard to like, keep playing it over and over again like that. Speed training, trick cloak. The works. For every three cards you draw, this turn game one energy and deal four damage. To a random enemy. At the end of each round. I've seen this do really good. We'll try it. So we need to add more draw. That's what it does. Oh, well, there's two for one. Shivs and draw right there. And then we still can remove one of these Garbos. Yeah. I'll see how this does. I've never messed with the work. I've seen it used in like crazy ways, but so I want to do this, I guess the works. And then I want to play th draw three cards, which I can't do. And then, okay. Oh, survivor actually. And then it just goes away if I don't use it. Right. I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. So to make it work, I need to have more draw. Get those punches. I'm just trying to think, like, I guess you if I have also had multiple copies of the works, it also would do better. But it's it's a skill, so I can't take advantage of boomerang. I'm not sure. Is this card from your hand? Shields shields deal just no two damage now. Catalyst is just a good card, but I don't really have uh an engine for it right now, I don't think. Slime hat, so our increases our uh, hand size. All right, you. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Like, I wake you up, because I don't really have any other plays. Okay, so it'd be like neutralize, shiv, neutralize. Okay, so it's not back on top of my deck now though. So that kind of defeats the point of like cycling through neutralize a lot. Does Catalyst work with this? No, it doesn't. So I literally have no poison right now. Hmm. Odd one. Uh, no. Milkshake's no good. Shiv, necrotic poison. Alright. I don't know if we even get through this fight, honestly. That's back, that's that, that's that, and that's that. Actually, I have to start blocking if I want to get through this correctly. 
And the neutralize helps a little bit, but work. So this will draw that, and we drew the neutralize. So I can stack um, the amount of weakness I get by doing it that way, but is that, you know, the right play? Okay, 20 damage, so 14 now. Um, draw two cards and get a shiv. Shiv's not going to be that good. Drop that. Hit him twice. Yeah, we'll still survive. And we're guaranteed a attack next turn. Okay. Or Calcum's good. Whenever I use uh, start time without blocking, gain six block. I guess we're going to hit, get hit and shiv. I don't know. Like, we'll continue doing this. <laughs> no. I don't want to die from an event. Uh, ten foot pole, take 50% less damage from outside of combat. That's pretty good. Uh, lose 24 gold, I guess, because we have, well, depends on how I round, but I don't really want to take that chance. We just need to get to a place where we can rest, honestly. Uh, anything here? Not really. I can't even, I can't fight you either. I will super die. And we're going against the storyteller, I think. Okay, a little bit of that. Okay, another fight. Let's see. Toxin Wave, does it do all of them or just... Yeah. So that's kind of nice. Drop that. Drop that. Okay. Four damage there. So Catalyst does nothing for us right now. If I did the works, Hidden Blade. Nope, and I, I needed to draw another of the works to make that work. Okay. But we're not taking any damage, so... So I guess he just need more, like, draw power, I guess? Would be the goal to make the works work. And more of the works, I guess. Discard three, gain two. That could keep the, keep it going, I guess. I don't know what I'm building, for being honest. Uh, I don't want the doubt. I'm, like, very concerned that we actually make it through this. Nine damage, so it does do more damage. We've never made it work once yet. What's this do? Draw three cards. Let's try that. I wish it also did, gave you an upgraded shift. Would have been nice. Alright. This is actually not bad. We're going to burn the freaking catalyst out. And do that. So with boomerang, honestly, the best thing we could do... Um, I want... Yeah, the gremlin knob, I think. Because we do have a pretty good amount of damage. Discard three. Don't really like any of that. Draw. Not a very good start for the damage wise on the Gremlin knob. Um, what was I gonna say? I was in the middle of something and then, oh, to make boomerang work, we really need a big damage attack that we can cycle every turn. That's the goal. Would be the goal. But we're not getting that. I'm gonna do that. Okay, and we'll take a little bit of damage here. Yeah, hers is. I, I don't know if she actually ever damages you. Because the prompt always comes up first. The works. Oh, yeah. We're going to get our butt kicked right now. Another hidden blade. So the works work. And it hits her. Oh, so the works keeps staying on. It just is unplay. You can't stack them. So the effect lasts. And you can continue to draw. For seemingly for, like, as long as you want to. Um, do another one of these. So he's doing 15, 19. We'll survive, I think. I could play two more fins out there. He's going to get stronger, but at this point, why does it matter? Guess I could have retained some of that. Heal 10. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and where did that damage come from? Oh, Mercury Hourglass. I got it. So that, um, I want to kill him if I can. Not really. Concentrate for no reason. But you do more damage to me. Uh, free, uh, man. Take the dazed, I guess. I can kill you now, though. That's just nice. And we'll hit her. We might actually get out of this one. It's going to be pretty close if we do, though. 
Our AOE is pretty lacking, and that might kill us right there. I can take thorns. Will that do anything for us? Because that's 19 coming in. No. Oh, we, we got the six right there. We will survive. Interact. No, we won't. Take 6-2. I feel like that used to be 3-2. Yeah, we die. Ugh. Man, we're having some issues. All right, guys. Well, that is our attempt at the silent. Another shop kill. The shopkeeper has been kicking our butt, but I really wanted to uh, try to get that stuff. Anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. If you did enjoy, you can hit the like button. Or if you'd like to subscribe you can, uh, if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.